Hello there! It is the seventh day of the Ewan McGregor film, and today I am watching Emma. And like usual, I don't have any idea what this film is about. I know it stars Gwyneth Paltrow, who I know from the MCU, and that's about it. Oh no, actually, I know it's based on a book by Jane Austen, and that's about it. I looked on the casting list on IMDb, and Ewan McGregor wasn't very high up there, so I have a bad feeling he won't play a big role in the film. Which is bad, because the previous time that happened, the film was quite boring. We'll see. We'll see together. I will let you know what I thought about it after I've seen the film. Well, I am back and the film was, uh, yeah, it was enjoyable. It is about Emma, who is a matchmaker and she tries to match her friend Harriet with a potential husband and she's not very good at it. She even is so bad that she kind of loses track of what really is important, mainly her own happiness. And the story is kind of like a whodunit because you know Harriet's gonna end up with someone and they present at least three possible candidates or suspects so to say you're kind of like thinking who it could be and eventually in the end there's even a plot twist because Harriet is not the one who is getting married at least that's not the important wedding so uh, Ewan McGregor is in this film he's not in it for very long Although he's in it longer than I thought he would be. And every scene he is in, he kind of steals the show, in my opinion. To the characters and to the audience as well, he's kind of this strange, fair, kind, handsome gentleman. And uh, he's funny, he's energetic, and he really is kind of the prime candidate. He's presented as one of the suspects, so to say, and uh, I, I, I actually was rooting for him. Also, he uses an English accent again, which now marks three English accents and three Scottish ones. So I'm very interested to see at the end of the Ewan mcgregor thon which accent he actually uses more. So yeah, I must say I quite enjoyed the movie. I'm not a huge fan of costume dramas but I can appreciate them. However, this film I wouldn't choose to see myself. I'm giving Emma a 7 out of 10 for a clever story, beautiful costumes and good performances. However, the story was a bit dull in my opinion and I was bored at times. Join me tomorrow when I will be watching Breast Off, a film I have never heard of but apparently it was big enough to have a copy in my local library. So that should count as something, right? I will see you tomorrow.